You're gonna hit that, short rest, palm muted open A. So we have 9G pinch harmonic vibrato, short rest. And then 7G, 107D, palm mute. So this chord is beautiful. Uh, first person I learned this one from is George Lynch. So your chord outline is going to be like. I think he uses that in the Hunter. But uh, you'll hit the chord. Palm mute 3A. So. And then 5 slide to 7 on the G. Rest and then 575. Five. So. Okay, the rock G. 3E muted A, 3B and 3E. Hit them all. You have um, palm mute to 3E. And then 2G slide to 5. I go with the middle finger, but you can use your first. Then go short rest 4G. Um, 7 5 5 slide to 7 on the D. So it'll be. And then this uh, power chord with the octave in it. Starting on the D string, working down, 7, 9, 10, three times, rest the first two. Then you start, um, start it over, second time, no star, which just happens to be that part. So you have. Ah. Um, then we have. second time. The song, believe it or not, I've never heard it before from Rad. I've heard a lot of the 80s stuff, so I don't even know. This might be Carlos Cavazzo on this, or Schenker, I'm not sure. But uh, first thing I would do, Alan, is highlight your chords in there, which would be... Right? And then fill the pockets with the riffs. That's all the goodies, right? Um, a series of repeats and then solo number two, man, get ready. This is uh, two minutes, four seconds, and it's going to be a three note per string on this riff. It's really cool. Um, you're going to pick hammer, hammer. It'll go. Yeah. 12A, pick, hammer to 14 and 16. And then on the D, same concept, but 13, hammer to 14, 16. Same thing on the G. So. And on the B, 14, hammer 15, 17. So we have. And then on the high E, you gotta go to the top of page four for this. Um, 14th fret, hammer 16, 17. So we have You think Randy Rhodes, you know, that that style riff. I like the Okay, once you get there, pick the 17 again, bend vibrato. So And then go 17 to 16, half step bend release. 14, hammer 16, and then pick 14. 12, uh, a rest there. These are kind of like a three pattern. 12, hammer 14, and then pick 12. Then we're going to go on the high E, alternate pick, 9, 12, 9. So it's. 12 pull 9 on the high E, and then 12 9 B E down up. You know that riff. 12 pull 10 on the B to 11 G. So if we connect all that and we want to subgroup it, we got 12 on the B, 
10, pull 9. I like that because he goes from a pentatonic to just a standard scale. So um, now we got 11.9 G, 11.9 7D. So we have. A and then 7 9. Works his way up. 7 9 D slide to 11. 9 11 G. So you have. Oh, wait. Where did that slide up start? Where was that at? Um, 7 9 on the A. 7 9 on the D slide to 11. So that gives you. From there, go 10, 12 on the B to 11 G, and then 10, 12 again on the B to 9 E. So it's, it's cool. 10, 12 on the B. So connect that. 9 E, um, 9 E, 10 B, 9 E. 12B bend vibrato. Let's do that whole run. So, that way from the top, that would be. Well, from the third line down. Two minutes, 14 seconds in. <clears throat> Start with an upstroke. 9E, 12B. This is alternate pitch, just starting with an up. And then 12 9 on the E. Use that third finger as like a shift, or you can go go middle third, but I like the uh, just the third finger using it as a shift. Just to, I feel more comfortable with that. And then 12 9 B E. 10 11 B G. Vibrato. So you see the chord in there. So you have on the B string, 10th fret, you're going to go 10, 12, 10, real slight bend, like a quarter to 11 G. Okay, and then 10th fret again, half step bend um, to 11, 9 G. So. Then go 10B. Now we're going to work our way down. 11, 9 on the G and the D. And then 11, D. So if you went from the 10B, you got this. To 9G. 11, pull 9. And then uh, 11, 9, 11 on the D. To 9G. And then 11 pull 9. So that subgroup is this. Great idea to subgroup it, and that's a good subgroup. You know, move it around. Alright, and then you'll see double dots here. We're gonna go 9 on the D. Um, hammer to 11. And then 9 11 G, pull 9. To 11 D, and that's going to go two times. So it's ah. there. It is. It's cool. Right. 9-11-G to 10-B bend vibrato. And then uh, rest slide. Uh, 2 minutes 20 seconds in. This is cool. He's doing like a, it's like sweet picking. 11-10-9-G, B, and E. And it's like, I just wrote rake in there, but it's like lift your fingers as you go. And me and you haven't really talked about sweep picking. I don't know if that's something you're into, but this is a technique used in it. And then on the high E, you go 12, 11, 9. So it's to 
12 beat. You hear the difference. You don't want to go. I mean, you don't want it to be it's in between the two. 11 pull 9 on the E. 12 9 B E. So we have. And then on the B, go 10 12 9. And then middle finger 9G, pull to 8, to 11D. It kind of shifts there, so... Um, eight, 9 on the G, hammer 11. 9B, 11G. So from the pull-off... 10, pull 9 on the B and then 12-10 on the B. Maybe those uh, separate the fingers. To 9E to 12B. Better notate the fingering on that one because it'll throw you off if you don't, I think. We'll go pinky two. All right, um, top of page five. So we're... It's a long solo, dude. This whole page is still solo continued, so um, probably be a three-part video. We're gonna go 11, 9, 12, 11 on the high E. That would give you half step bend, hold release. Then 11, half step bend. And then pick 11, pull 9, 12, 9, B, E. 10B half step bend. So you can down pick the rest of these. Um, kind of bluesy, right? On the um, D, pinch harmonic, all this. 11, 10, 9, 7. Right? Good. Eleven, ten, nine, seven, nine, seven. So back to nine, and then half step in the seven, and then nine eight twice. Two minutes twenty eight seconds in. We're gonna go eleven G slide to sixteen, and um, use our third finger for that. And then upstroke the fourteen E down the seventeen B bend vibrato. So it's. All right, some riffage. 14, it's probably my favorite riff right here, by the way. 14 E, 17, 14 B, follow the picking. I'm starting with an upstroke. And then back to 17 B. I just love that, man, the tone of that 18. Back to 14 E. 14, 17 B. 17G, that's cool. 14B. And then 16 on the G. You're going to pull off to 15. So. To 16D. 15G. Um, half step, bend, hold, release. You may want to, um, let's see. Right here. <clears throat> I'm thinking middle finger is gonna actually set you up better for the pull off. 16 with the middle, 15 with the index. Totally sets it up better. Right here. Or 15G. And then 16 pull 14 on the D. Palm mute the 16A to 15G. So you're string skipping. And then 16, 14, A and D two times. I'm gonna palm mute the 16s though. So it's 
and then 16 again to 13 G, half step bend, and then just pick it and vibrato it. So it's, let's go from the 16 14. It's, Alright, and then 16 on the A string. Uh, this is alternate pick starting with a downstroke. Palm mute these first four notes. You'll go. So 16A, 13, 14, 16 on the D. 13 hammer 14 on the on the G. As well as the 16. So we have. And then 13 on the B, hammer 14. So your scale is. It's cool. All right, after that, we're going to do the 17 on the B. <clears throat> and. 17 G, so let's get our uh, third finger there. 17 G, 14 hammer 17 on the B, and then 14 17 on the E. From the 13 hammer, it's right. Then the last four notes, I should do the. The rest, you go 14 B E, and then 14 hammer 17 on the B, and then 17 bend vibrato. So you have. 